Montreal, Quebec, Canada, December 2021, between Christmas and New Year's. Hello students, welcome to class. Today we are back in the dog park where you have one job only and that is to try to figure out which dogs are vegan and which ones aren't just by the way they look. See if you can tell. Are the big dogs vegan? Are the small dogs vegan? Are the brown dogs vegan? Or are the black dogs vegan? Can you tell just by the way they move their tails, by the way they run? Good luck to you. Vegan dogs are healthy. Vegan dogs are happy. Vegan dogs can thrive. Vegan dogs are healthy. Vegan dogs are happy. So why pay for murder? Keep all the animals alive. So what do you think? Is this black dog vegan? Looks pretty energetic, tails up, running all over the place. Or do you think maybe the other dog's vegan? The beige one. Or how about this little one? It's hard to tell, isn't it? That's because vegan dogs look the same as any other dog. They act the same and everything about them is the same. Their pee is normal, their poo is normal. They put their tails up when they're happy and they put their tails down when they're scared or upset about something. Vegans are here for the animals. We hate to see them suffer. We don't need them or use them in any way. Vegans are here for the animals. Protecting the earth, the sky, and the sea. Spreading a message of empathy. There's no reason to buy animals that are dead and put them in a bag and feed them to your dog when you can simply buy plants and put those in a bag and feed those to your dog. Dogs need proteins and vitamins and minerals, but they don't need to eat dead flesh, just like you don't. Humans can be vegan and dogs can be vegan. All you need to do is just buy the right food. I know what you're thinking. But don't dogs have a jaw just like a wolf does and big fangs? Don't they need animals in their bodies in order to survive? But no, they don't. That's the truth of it. There are many, many dogs who are vegan all around the world. They're thriving and they're doing great. So why pay for murder if you don't have to? Why kill a chicken, feed it to a dog if you don't have to? Or why kill a lamb? or a turkey, or a cow, or any other animal. If you really think that your dog needs to eat meat, flesh, in order to survive, would you be able to kill one of these dogs to feed it to the others? Would you kill the beige one to feed her to everyone else in this dog park? Maybe it would be best to go to the corner of the dog park and take the bag of vegan dog food and feed that to everyone. That way, nobody has to die. The truth is that every person who owns a dog should be trying to buy vegan dog food, order it online, bring it into your home, and stop hurting other animals. You just don't need to. Most people are decent and wouldn't be able to choke an animal to death or shoot them in the head when there are other options. We're not talking about an animal attacking you here. We're talking about just allowing all the animals to live. Vegan kibble looks the same as any other dog food. It comes in a bag and you just feed your dog twice a day with some water on the side. It's really not that complicated. But yeah, it might cost a little bit more, but isn't it worth it knowing that you're not hurting any other sentient beings for no reason? And the same thing applies to you and what you buy for yourself. Put veggies, fruits, 
nuts and seeds in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate, so open up your heart to all animals, not just those that you happen to live near or who live in your home, not just those that you happen to care about, but all animals. All animals deserve love and freedom. when you think about the animals. Just imagine that you were the victim. If you were a pig who was about to go into a gas chamber, wouldn't you want somebody like me to speak out on your behalf? If you were a chicken and about to have your neck cut, wouldn't you want somebody like me to speak out on your behalf, to run towards you and yell, stop it, stop hurting this person? Well, chickens pigs, cows, turkeys, and lambs, they might not be people, but they feel like we do. They see like we do. They yearn for freedom and to be with their families like we do. We have no right to hurt them. Being vegan isn't about food. It's about ending animal exploitation. Look at the coat that you're wearing right now. Does it have fur on it? Where do you think that fur came from? A coyote? A raccoon dog? A rabbit? All these animals deserve to keep their own fur and their own skin. If you're wearing fur right now as a trim or a decoration, remove it immediately. Cut it off or unzip it. Let the animals have their freedom and don't go around promoting their death wearing it around your head like a trophy. If my message here today disturbs you, before you lash out at me, pause and really think, who is it that you're angry with? Society at large or yourself? We all ate meat. We all bought animal products in the past and we all regret it, but we can all change. When we know better, we can do better. It takes a hundred clicks to become vegan. That means a hundred light bulb moments or emotional moments or moments where you realize that logically it makes perfect sense. After you get those, you realize that being vegan is something that you should have done years ago. And in fact, the truth is we're all born vegan. We never wanted to hurt animals when we were young. It wasn't our fault that our parents shoved dead animals down our throats. They didn't know better. Now we can change though. Well, we can be vegan from now on.
Millions of vegans have come to become vegan after learning the truth, after watching these documentaries. One of them is called Earthlings. Another one is called Dominion. There's also Cowspiracy and Seaspiracy. You can also watch The Game Changers to learn about health and what the health. Lastly, there's another documentary called Forks Over Knives. Once you've seen all of these, you'll begin to understand why vegans are so outspoken. They care deeply about the planet, about your health, and about the animals who suffer so much on factory farms and have nobody there <laughs> to defend them. They're not as free as these guys. So thank you everyone for being here. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to try to learn and be a little open-minded. Thank you for being kind to animals from now on. Coming up on screen are gonna be a bunch of other videos. Be curious, look around that vegan teacher's site. And please, if you care about animals and you'd like to help me save them, subscribe, press the notification bell and help me get the animals out of hell. Thank you. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's